hi guys and welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is z and on this channel i give you vlogs of nigeria skincare hair care and as a lawyer i also reel out a few stuff now can we talk about the confidence being a vlogger gives you in nigeria like i can just flip out my camera anywhere and that's it so now i'm going to take you from the mainland to the island and have you ever wondered why people are currently trying to develop things more on the mainland as as against um, trying to purchase more properties on the island as it were well, this is what the mainland looks like. This is currently Ikeja. And for those who do not know, Ikeja is actually the capital city of Lagos State. And not the island like Leki, Ikoi, and the rest like we know of it. Ikeja is actually where the city center is. But however, because of migration, the powers that be, the people that sort of live on the island, it now looks as though things are more better off in that area than here but um i'm gonna take you on a tour and then we decide but guys i was actually like i actually prepared my mind for the lagos traffic and this was well around past 1 30 p.m uh, my flight was for 11 and i landed around 12 30 or there about a few few minutes past two of actually or to one and yeah so this is actually what it looks like and so far so good let me just tell you people if you think you have money no worry and you're using bands one small bands old bands c class to be oppressing us get out can't pack it eh if you see cars to your vanity this is me officially saying i need a sugar daddy in this lagos because this lifestyle needs to be funded. People are living the life here. Hey, God. Hey. Ah, ah. If we're not having this hardest to it in Lagos, so it'd be like, say, I go go do that bomb bomb. Let, let me know where my selling point will start from because being a good girl does not pay again. No. I don't know what you're talking about. Also, Ligua, Ogwa, Ogwa, Nisi, Nisi. God. Okay, so um, this is my journey from Ikeja to the mainland. But we also took a short visit or a short, a short stop to um, Badaga, Abiguabag. Like the names here are very funny. Like, where do you guys get all the names? Anyway, I think it's a Yoruba thing. But there was no traffic here. Oh, we had a smooth ride until we got to one spot close to Oshodi. Um, we were in that traffic for close to three hours. Nothing was moving. All I was just seeing are just people that are selling pomo, buns. And everything on the road that is selling, they are selling in this Lagos. One day they will carry land on their head and say, ha ha, this Lagos, there's nothing people will not sell on the road though. Everybody's just hustling. And need I tell you, it be like say every young girl in this Lagos get logistic company. Now wait till now they do take they go Dubai, they go they do um so, so Santorini, I be Greece, I be waiting. Every if you see bikes trying to overtake cars. Hey, isn't it? Like we open our own logistic company, Z Z Z errands, Z goes, Zomuje. <laughs> All right, I'll just let you guys enjoy this journey and I'll talk to you when I get to traffic. Okay, bye. <laughs>
the circle. Show for it. So this is the Nigerian Armed Forces Resettlement Center. I wanted to show you guys something. Not this trafficking, not the traffic. So I noticed that they have like how many lanes and they also made some expansions with the roads. But I noticed that this expansion, you can see the the the, the thickness of the road, right? You can see that is actually fake. I'm not actually an architect or a construction worker, but I wanted to know, is this good or bad? Because I know that Uberi roads are not like this, but they were trying to do that as one certain point in one area, but it wasn't as thick as this. But I feel like the thickness of this this road will like withstand um, friction and all whatnot in the future. And I feel like roads like this last for a longer time. Let me know in the comment section if that's true or not. I'm just saying that from a layman's yeah, perspective is, though. Yeah. So this is what they call downfall buses in Nigeria. Have you heard of downfall? That one that they don't stop for you to enter. You just jump and enter. Anyhow you see yourself, you see yourself. That's what they call downfall buses. I've had a colleague of mine who died from it. He, he, he jumped out of the bus and fell on the third road and had like a brain injury before he could get to the hospital or something he had already passed on so yeah it's that scary lagos is a scary place i don't think i can actually reside here i feel like abuja kind of suits my taste like you know that chic calm rich obiangeli kind of life right <laughs> where i don't have to stress myself i have like 10 nannies taking care of the kids. I have like two drivers. I have like a stack of Rolls Royce in my garage, Maybach, all those kind of cars. I know all those kind of sweet life. Nah, life is for the living, no. Life is for the living. <laughs> so this is Oshodi as well, but this is where the um, cars, like where they. You know when they import cars, eh? Hey, this is where it comes to before they now transport it to the other places and everything. That's why you see all those things here. Then this is the terminal for the BRT. I don't know if you know BRT buses, but I'm going to do a video about transportation in Lagos, hopefully, and I'll show you. Also, the train station is also around here. This is also the terminal for the train station. If you've heard of um Nigerians new train train at the railway station in lagos this is it they only go on weekdays eight o'clock and four p.m eight a.m and four p.m yeah so hopefully i get to get on a ride and i'll show you guys so let's just say that all i did when i came to the first on my first day in lagos was just enjoy the traffic in lagos because getting to the mainland Getting to the island from the mainland after I landed at about 1 p.m. I got to the island at about past 4 or thereabouts. Passing where they go, Bini never reach. I don't know how people freaking do it over here that they even enjoy it. <sighs> I don't know, but um, I am about that life. I am about that stressful life. I just want to be able to wake up by 7, 8 o'clock, have a shower do my proper skin routine and I dash off to work and in 10, 15 minutes, I'm at my place of work. Not having to wake up by 6 or 3 a.m. and start going to a job that I'm not even enjoying. And after work hours, I'll now wait till like how many hours for traffic to reduce before I now start going home. But that's off ahead though. And most of these jobs don't even pay that yes. much. I don't know. It's just... But some people in this Lagos do not have it any other way. They're already so used to the struggle that if it's any other way, they feel like it's juju. Ha. Oh, you guys there eh? i don't know i thought i pull cap for now so this way i'm going to end my chat i think i've i've spoken for so long in this video i'm just going to let you enjoy the music and that's it i'll see you in my other vlog if you haven't subscribed now you sabi if you haven't liked this video now you know what i do you and they haven't commented now you know why they keep quiet they say they close mouth is a close destiny so choose wisely which one you want i'm going to say go babe bye bye Show pretty girl. Oh yeah, show sweet girl. Show sweet girl. Show pretty girl. Oh she, oh she. Oh yeah, turn around. Oh yeah, just come on. Just come on. Just come on. Oh yeah, 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 just come on. Go, 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 go